lahat sa bawayan ng uh, San Antonio Torres. Isang magandang araw po sa bawat isa. Ako po ay narinito muli upang magbahagi ng mabubuting balita sa bawat isa. At uh, kung maaalala niyo po na ang ating tinalakay last Friday ay patungkol sa langit. It is quite interesting today that the majority of people believe on the reality of heaven than in hell. They would rather believe that heaven is true, it is real, than hell. Kaya ang ating paksa sa umaga na ito ay patungkol sa impyerno. Patungkol sa impyerno or hell. Maraming kaparaanan ng tao to deny the existence of hell. They would rather believe in heaven than in hell. Why? Because we are, they are afraid of hell. Now, whether you deny hell or not, hell is still true. And it, does, it doesn't change the truth. That hell really is true, it's real, it is existing. Ngayon, so bago dito, ang ating tatalakayin ay patungkol sa impyerno. Last Friday, we talked about heaven. Yes, heaven is true because it is written in the Word of God and Jesus Christ spoke about it. But let me just remind you and tell you everyone that Jesus Christ spoke more about hell rather than heaven. The reality of hell we can escape. Why is there hell? Because God is just and His justice is perfect. The justice of God is perfect and that's why there is hell. But let me just describe hell as written in the Word of God. Do you know that in hell, sa impyerno, there is an unquenchable fire? Merong apoy at alam natin yan. Nasa isip ng bawat tao ang impyerno at ang itaisipan natin ay merong apoy. Now, bakit merong apoy sa impyerno? Nagtatanong po ba tayo? Bakit merong apoy sa impyerno? Kasasagutin natin. Siyempre, impyerno yun eh. Pero it doesn't make sense. Why is there fire in hell? Yan ang tanong ko sa umaga nito. Bakit may apoy doon sa impyerno? Well, fire speaks of God's judgment. Fire refers to the justice of God. Fire refers to the judgment or justice of God. There is fire in hell. Bakit? Upang danasin ng tao ang kanyang pagkakasala. Danasin ang kapurusahan ng kanyang pagkakasala. There is fire in hell to punish every unbeliever that goes to hell. Fire is God's judgment against our sin, against our wickedness. So hell is real. And what's in there? We have fire. Pero apoy. And not just that. Kapag pumasok ka sa impyerno, naranasin mo ang kaparusahan na nararapat natin danasin dahil sa pagkakasala natin laban sa Diyos. Now my question to you is this. Who created hell? Who created hell? It was not Satan who created hell. Satan is here on earth. There is sin, there is wickedness because Satan is here. Satan is not in hell. God, the, the creator of heaven and earth, He created hell to punish you, to punish all of us who have sinned against Him. We all have sinned. Lahat tayo ay nagkasala, mga kaibigan. You cannot change that fact about yourselves, about ourselves. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, the Bible says. Where the wages of sin is death. Ang kabayaran ng kasalanan ay walang hanggang kaparusahan doon sa impyerno. Ngayon, hindi ko man maniwala sa impyerno, it still doesn't change the truth. Hell is still real. But let me just tell you, hell is not only true, 
may mas malawak at mas maiting na parusa bukod sa hell. The Bible speaks about lake of fire. The lake of fire. That those who are in hell will be transferred to the lake of fire. And the Bible talks about the hell of fire, the lake of fire, describing as there is brimstone. And the Bible says, Ano, sino ang mga tao pumupunta sa lawa ng apoy? But the Bible, the Bible says, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and mourners and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Now, hindi ka man maniwala na mayroong impyerno. At sabihin ko po sa inyo, sabi ng banal na kasulatan, hindi lang impyerno ang mayroon. Mayroon ding lawa ng apoy. Ang lawa ng apoy, ito ay pupuntahan ng mga taong nagkasala laban sa, sa kanyang pailalang. Every person is sinned against God, sinners, the Bible says, that sinners will go to hell, and not just hell, but even in the lake of fire. And the Bible describes the lake of fire as something that is eternal. And we can't escape that. Why? Because God, the creator of the world, He is eternal. He is infinite, and so therefore hell is also eternal. And those who sin against this creator of heaven and earth, those who sin against God, when you die and when we die, we will automatically go to hell. My friends, hell is real. You may laugh today, but you will die later. You will die later in this life and you will face the judgment of God. And that is hell. The Bible says, as it is appointed unto man, wants to die, but after this, the judgment. You cannot escape the fact that you will die. Life is too short. And the Bible says, what is life? It is even a vapor that the good for a little time, and then punish it away. My friends, you may be strong today, but you will become weak. And you are weak? And you will, be, you will die. You can't escape the fact that life is short. Death is short. Sin will bring you down to the pit of hell. And that only Jesus Christ is the cure. My friends, my friends, you will die. The message today is you will die. And when you die, because we sin against God, we will automatically, automatically go to hell. We will automatically go to hell. Why? Because we rebel against God. Nagpasala tayo sa tunay na Diyos. At dahil sa pagkakasala na yan, it is just, just for God to punish those who sinned against Him. Ignore this message. And when you die, you will remember this message that hell is real. Not only that hell is real, but the lake of fire or lawa ng apoy ay totoo. Now, the Bible says, every soul that sinned, it shall die. The ultimate punishment for our sin is hell or the lake of fire. And everyone who sinned against God will go there. But there is a pero paparaanan para hindi mapunta sa impyerno. Number one, hindi yung pagiging religious mo. Number two, hindi yung pagiging gawa mo. Number three, wala sa'yo yung kalintasan sa impyerno. Isa lang, isa lang ang tao na pinagbumula ng kalintasan mula sa kapamaka ng impyerno. At yun ay si Cristo. Jesus Christ died at the cross. Why did He die at the cross? Simply because He wants you to save. Jesus wants you to save from sin. Sin, 
Christ, and thou shalt be saved from hell and the lake 